What's up, y'all? I'm your host, Trey, the comedian. Stand up, stand up. Y'all put your hands together for Doo Doo Bro. What's up, Los Angeles? That ain't every motherfucking body. What's up, LA? You may be seated. You may be seated. How y'all doing, man? Y'all good? Round of applause for all the comics y'all done seen so far up here. This is great. Really good stuff, man. Well, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Doodoo Brown. Been doing stand-up comedy for 30 years. Ain't that a blessing? 30 years. I'm 51 years old now. So my comedy has evolved. You know, I talk a lot less bullshit while I'm up here. I'm going to tell you the truth. Shit going to be funny. It may hurt. But I'm 51. I ain't got time to be fucking with y'all. All right. <laughs> so let's hop right into it, if I may. Coming to America 2 was some bullshit. <laughs> that shit was whack. I hate I rented that shit early, because it's $20 to rent it early. I got the Amazon Prime, but if you want to watch it before everybody else, it's $20. I should have waited, because the shit was whack. It did not do justice to the first one. The first one was a classic. I don't think they put everything into the second one. I'm just saying, when I saw Wesley Snipes, I said, these motherfuckers ain't even trying. This shit, this shit about to be bad, man. I didn't like how they played Prince Akeem. I felt like they played his character through the whole movie. Like he's some punk motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's scared of Wesley. He needs his daughters to help him fight. His dad don't think he's ready to run the kingdom. I mean, was this not the same man that unscrewed a mop top and stood in front of Samuel Jackson with a shotgun? and said you will refrain from using that language in front of these people I will be forced to thrash you and proceeded to whoop his ass he didn't play him like that in the second one they sent the king to the couch do you remember that y'all are looking shocked they played him like some punk motherfucker man the king of Zamunda told to get out of his own bedroom go sleep on the couch and he went <laughs> couldn't have been King Doodle I'm sorry soon as she said go sleep on the couch I would have been like gods seize her <laughs> this bitch done bumped her head this <laughs> This is Zamunda, not McDowell's. What I look like with a, a plethora of bad bitches throwing flowers at my feet as I walk to the couch. <laughs> it don't make no sense. I would have been like, seize her, lock her in the dungeon, and bring me more bathers. I need more bathers. <laughs> <laughs> y'all can lighten up fuck the audience clap y'all giving me right now fuck that I want you to clap cause this shit touch you ladies make some noise my show is dedicated to the ladies yes I'm here to uplift and edify uplift and edify you know what uplift means right I want to lift you up you know what edify means 
No, you don't, do you? <laughs> Edify simply means to improve upon, to make better. This lady's bosoms have been edified. <laughs> you get it? I'm here to lift you up and leave you better than you were before our paths crossed. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now I have a few questions for you ladies and I just need you to answer these questions honestly. Okay? Just answer them honestly and the edification can ensue. Now this is how we're going to answer the questions. We're going to make a lot of noise and clap. Now let me hear just the ladies. Make a lot of noise and clap. Just the ladies. Okay. This is how you're going to answer the questions. You don't have to raise your hand or point yourself out. When the answer pertains to you, you just clap your hands and make some noise. Okay? All right. Question number one. Ladies, make some noise if you've ever been arrested or detained. Make some noise. Couple of gangsters in the back. Few of you lying. Few of you not telling the truth. One more time, ladies, make some noise if you've ever been arrested or detained. Make some noise. Oh, got a couple of more came on in. Okay, okay, got a couple of, did you know she was a gangster, sir? Did you know that? Okay. Okay, ladies, those of you that have been arrested, make some noise if you were arrested for DUI or drunk in public. DUI, you call it DUI. Make some noise. No luscious? Good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, ladies, make some noise if you've ever been arrested for uh, domestic violence. Had to beat a bitch up. Make some noise. You don't want to tell it? Nobody had to put their hands on a motherfucker. A boyfriend? A ex? His ex? Uh, nobody ever? Okay, no fight. Women usually... They, they, they grasp onto that one. They, they like to, you know, they wear that one like a badge of honor. Yep, beat a bitch up, Joe did. <laughs> Told that hoe I would. <laughs> Ready to go back. <laughs> okay, ladies, make some noise if you've ever been arrested for theft or fraud of any kind. Theft. Look at her. She... She clapped her hands hard as fuck. I like you. Because we know you are a work in progress. Now, that's honest. Now, the rest of you motherfuckers be honest. Theft or fraud of any kind. Make some noise, ladies. Okay, okay. No credit cards, credit cards. Cre credit card back there. Watch your purse, love you. Okay, food stamp card, food stamp card, EBT, no, WIC voucher, WIC voucher. You trying to get Welch's, no you ain't supposed to have shit but juicy juice in the cart. No, okay, okay. Okay ladies, make some noise if you've been arrested but I have yet to name your crime, make some noise. You've been arrested, but I've yet to name your crime. Make some noise. Okay, all right. Pay attention, fellas. These are the whores. <laughs> These are the bitches doing something strange for a piece of change. Amen, amen. Okay, I got a couple more questions, ladies, before we begin the edification <laughs> ladies make some noise if you are sexually active make some noise sexually active you're fucking make some noise if you're fucking Kwa Chang no dick Kwa Chang no dick no fucky fucky long time if you got dick in your life make some noise ladies <laughs> sir stop clapping ladies only you got dick in your life, real dick, no dildo, real dick. Real dick, make some noise. 
Real, no dick, no dick. You brought her here for nothing. She just. No, we need to change that answer. You need, you need to fuck tonight. The man and put you on TV. The fuck is you holding on to it for? Okay, okay, ladies, those of you that are sexually active, make some noise if you're. If you're having an orgasm every time y'all fuck, make some noise. Damn. Damn. The numbers drop like a motherfucker. So y'all not making them come? We'll give this man a round of applause. He, at least he in here pleasing the pussy. That's a shame, fellas. I take offense to that shit. Y'all not making the women come? You got to make her have an orgasm, man. That th no, this is serious shit, bro. <laughs> this, this is why you have problems and shit in your relationship. You're not bringing the woman to climax. Don't you know that a woman can't even fully give herself to you all that she have to offer if you're not pleasing her sexually? She doesn't even fully trust you as a man if you are unable to satisfy her in the bedroom. I didn't say it. The Lord said it. How can she follow you through the valley if you're unable to lead her to the mountaintop? She can't do it. She doesn't trust you. This is why you have these problems in your relationship. Oh, she just nag all the time. She talk too much. Don't you know good dick or make a bitch shut the fuck up? And I'm saying, and you won't, you won't even have to tell her. She'll tell herself. You know what? I was gonna say something. But I'm going to leave it alone. Because if he get mad and don't want to fuck, baby. Yes. Yes, you got to please your woman sexually. She trusts you more when you do. And then you're not pleasing her. You're talking shit. Then when she cheat on you, the first thing you want to say is, these bitches ain't shit. No, that dick ain't shit. It's that ain't shit dick you're carrying around with you that ain't shit. Learn how to fuck. Step your fuck game up. Problems decrease when the fuck is good. I'm telling you some good shit, man. Some, some men think if they just spend the money, it's all okay. No. No, it's not. She'll take that money you give her and, and bless good dick with it. I'm not telling you what a motherfucker told me. I'm telling you what I know to be true for myself. You have to please her. So Mr. Bill Payer, step your fuck game up. You know, just cause you popping tags and buying bottles and dropping the top and buying the bar and making it rain and thanking you to shit, you can't fuck. <laughs> then you wanna get mad when she give me the pussy. I'm gonna kill this bitch dude. I'm gonna choke this bitch dude. Let me tell you something, bro. A bonafide woman don't need that superficial shit you're doing, okay? 
See, some of these young girls, they want you to cake them. They want you to trick off on them because nobody taught them any better. But a bona fide woman, a thoroughbred woman, she comes to the table already equipped to assist. My Bible calls her a helpmate. She got her own house, got her own car. She buy her own shit, can do her own thing. I say the I-N-D-P, I-I-N-D-P, T, 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 T. You know what the fuck I'm spelling. Bonafide woman don't need you to give her shit other than that which God did not, some dick, some 98.6 degree, hard, throbbing, blood, thick, dick. Some of you eating pussy forever ass men. Some of these men want to eat a bitch pussy till her mouth dry. You want to lick her ass for an hour and give her two minutes of dick. The devil is a lie. You got to make her come and you got to make her come hard. She laughing because the shit is true. She giving me eye signals. Talk to this one. Talk to him. I hope it's sinking. He gonna be a better man when he leave here. He gonna fuck the dog shit out of you when he leave it. And I'm talking about you gotta make him come hard, bro. Listen to me carefully. You gotta make her come hard. Give her that hard one. Not, not the little bitty one. Not the little bitty one. Yeah, ladies, I know a lot about you. And the little bitty one. See, young man. Women are capable of having several different type of orgasm, okay? You could make her come, but it still might not be the one! The one! Yeah, the one! Any of you ladies ever bust the one? The one! The one that make you put up with all the shit he take you through. The one make you cut up his clothes and key his car. The one. The one. The one. Not the little bitty one. They can have that one on their own. Some of them sitting here now with their legs crossed trying to squeeze out a little bitty one right now. Yeah. I'm talking about the one only you can give her. The one. <laughs> Ladies, clap if you ever experienced the one. Grandma, not the one. No one. The one, no one. One. She said one, two, and three. One. What? The one. The one. The one. The one to make you look up at him while you're fucking with tears in your eyes and say, why is you doing me like this, Tyrone? <laughs> you, 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 you can't keep fucking me like this if, if we ain't finna be together. <laughs> the one, the one make that pussy skeet. Any squirters in the house? Ladies, any of you coming so hard that that cooch is squirt? We call them squirters. Clap if there are any squirters. Ooh, squirters up front. Kwa Chang say, she squirty squirt. She squirt squirt. Squirting, Grandma. You're not squirting no more, Granny. It's dried up. It done dried up. Squirters, yes, fellas. Some women orgasm so hard that that pussy squirt it's squirt, 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 squirt. one time for the squirter 
two times for the men in here that don't know that that's piss. For the men that don't know she done peed on both of y'all. Rolling over. Oh, we got a gold, got a golden shower motherfucker in here. It's, that's another part of the show, the golden shower nasty motherfucker. Yes, some come so hard they squirt. And they roll, oh, you made me come so hard. Don't roll over, bitch. Change the fitted sheet. The fitted sheet needs changing. That shit was erotic for about two minutes. Now it's just pee to bed. It's pee to bed. That shit gonna be brown in four more minutes, smelling of Hennessy and ammonia. Change the fitted sheet. I've come to uplift and edify. Well, I've been given the light. Your money is run out. <laughs> Have you enjoyed yourself so far? Take me out of here with a standing ovation. They taught you how to do it. And I catch you on the next side one time for the comedy cube. Stopping us, I promise you. Gonna leave these pussy niggas in the dust, I promise you. And if you hating, I don't get it. This has been a funny media group production.